Not too long ago, a pilot recorded a strange video of red glowing lights in the Atlantic Ocean. Check it out real quick. Now the official reasoning behind this is supposedly due to a large group of fishing boats using LED lights to lure in fish. But some people believe that that's just a cover story and have come up with some crazy theories of their own. These theories have been ranging from some people believing that this is just an active underwater volcano or some sort of military project to purposely warm up the ocean to some even wilder theories that these lights are a secret underwater city or a gateway to the upside down. Now, obviously those are just rumors, but I do find it interesting that all the FAA cameras on the east coast have been turned off leading some to speculate that they don't want us to see whatever it is that's going on in the Atlantic Ocean. But what do you think these lights are? Leave a like and your opinion about all this in the comments. I don't know if you've had this, but I've had people throw millions of dollars in my face to do something I didn't want to do. And what? Just, you've been off, yeah. Oh, they're in the room. Yeah, I don't know. With this shadow work, you got to do y'all shadow work, work on yourself and forgive yourself because that's part of this radiation. This radiation going to be so strong, y'all, that if you if you don't forgive yourself and you're not working on like that love frequency, it's going to really be hard for you to breathe in that shit too. Even if you're one of the guys and goddesses, you know why? Because you haven't been around this real radiation your whole life. You know what I'm saying? Your whole life, they had you eating meat just for this moment. The meat is going to make it hard for you to move through this new energy. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. Start working on falling back off the meat. You know what I'm saying? It's going to make it hard because it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to fuck with the ions in your body. So that means it's going to put you in a lot of pain. So you, it's going to force your body to shift. It's going gonna, it's gonna to force your DNA to strip itself of all the programming. And that shit going to have you in pain a little bit. That radiation. And this radiation is coming. Y'all are going to see it with your own two eyes. Yes. Ain't going to be no, it's here, but you can't see it. No. You're going to see it. When I keep telling y'all the ancestors saying, wait for the energy, nigga. I'm serious. They were like, as soon as I, as soon as the radiation come out the ground from the, from the, all the planets aligning, it's going to be thick and green. And when they, and when they, and listen, y'all. Y'all finna see the military. They gonna be shooting at this energy, y'all. Listen to me close. Share this live three times. All jokes to the side. I'm telling y'all what's gonna happen. So y'all have no excuse. This is why I'm gonna swim past your ass, nigga. I'm up. You're going to see the radiation with your own two eyes. Your pineal gland is not gonna have to be open, nigga. And it's gonna be green. And it's gonna come across, it's gonna be coming across our atmosphere like delta waves. And you're literally going to hear the energy. It's going to be like. Like that's how it's going to be sounding. That's how it's going to be sounding. Like I'm not being funny. That's how it's going to be sounding. Like I'm dead ass serious. Like this energy is going to come across in a delta wave format. If you don't know what a delta wave is, go look it up. But then you're going you're gonna to see the second sun in the sky. It ain't going to be no, listen, this is why I'm telling you they're going to try to shut the internet down. Because, nigga, everybody going to see the shit. All on the planet at the same time. It ain't going to be no way they can hide it, nigga. It ain't going to be no, and that's why they telling y'all about it. They hinting about it. You're here to raise your vibration. Be happy. None of these fucking fake third dimensional accomplishments y'all achieving, don't mean, it don't mean shit. You can't take none of this stuff with you when you die. You can't take these trophies, that money, none of that fucking material. That You can't take none of that shit with you. You're only here to raise your vibration. If you could choose if you want to help people raise their vibration. Your main goal is to protect your energy and become who you truly are. Connect with your higher self who is within. You are not your fucking thoughts. recently said there's no hell everybody went crazy like what what did he just say the pope said there's no hell he's he's slowly bracing you for the fact that all this is nonsense <laughs> all right
right now we're gonna get rid of hell. Like this is like one of the one of the purest examples of like the change in people's attitude towards religion. Is this real? Yep. yep. It's time to come up out that matrix, y'all. We all know religion is fake, and it was made to control you. Plus, it's a trillion dollar industry. Normally, when these folks talk about the enslavement of African people, you always hear the comparison of the house Negro and the field Negro as if those were the only two types of professions that existed during enslavement, and that's just not true. So the next time somebody want to holler at you about, oh, a house Negro or a field Negro, um, throw in this Negro right here, the boat Negro. See, what we don't grasp is there is not an industry that exists today. No industry that exists today. I don't even care about the ones that they be talking about new, cutting edge. No, there is no industry that does not have roots in the enslavement of black folks. And one of the biggest industries that got off on the enslavement of black people that we never talk about, the seafood industry. And just like the black folks on the plantation, them folks on the boats weren't taking it either. And unlike them folks on the Titanic, see, uh, black folk wasn't waiting at any opportunity they got to get up off there and get away. They did. If the ship was sinking, they weren't waiting on them folks to uh, help save them. Black folk were always active, no matter where they found themselves or trying to free themselves from under the white folks' oppression. Oh, yeah, and side note, while we own it, I wish y'all would stop tagging me in videos of social justice TikTokers who come over there and try to talk about history because sometimes they make some uh points I mean, they just don't know no better so i don't be really want to get into it with people like it is what it is like keep reading keep studying but if you want to learn real history y'all come on here and follow my boy now, there's a whole lot of other pages a whole lot of real history teaching tiktokers on here um i need to start reposting some of their content and um uh, yeah yeah you want some real history hit that follow button and um uh, yeah come on learn you don't find that suspicious you don't find that suspicious you don't find that suspicious it's on that fault right now but it's sprinkling you feel me i ain't experienced this shit this much until this year right and it be raining hard as fuck and the sun be beaming through the clouds while it's raining hard as fuck right i know y'all been experienced this is a picture of white children and white parents to a lesser degree cheering outside of a black home that they set on fire during the red summer in September of 1919 in Chicago. I want you to really take a moment to just look at what's really going on. These kids, these parents weren't caught off guard. They're posing after burning down someone's home, a black family's home. And they're okay with that. Everybody there is excited. And these white children right here were chasing down black folks and pelting them with rocks with the intent to kill. And this was a home they trashed during the Chicago race riots. And here's another home that they destroyed. Notice the cheers, the celebration, and the posing. White parents, those who censor American history would much rather your kids do this than be like these allies. And that should concern you. Jaden Youngie. Now first, rest in peace this man right here. I just heard that he passed away. I'm not gonna say I was a big fan, but I was fucking with some of his music. If you a person that still get affected by celebrity deaths, just watch to the end of the video. Now you have to understand that everybody gonna die. Nobody lives forever. This is the best time to get off social media so you won't get affected by none of these celebrity deaths. You still got a whole life ahead of you. Don't get affected by something on social media. We got programmed that death is a bad thing. Death is a beautiful thing. And plus, this world that we living in is hell. I'm actually glad that people are actually leaving this shit. It's crazy because on Instagram, I was saying how it's about to be a celebrity death and it's going to affect the whole world as a distraction. Yes, if you not put on, people who run in this world use deaths as a distraction. They use deaths to affect people. We program to think death is a bad thing, but death is a beautiful thing. When you understand that death is a beautiful thing, none of these celebrity deaths is going to affect you. Take a break off social media and focus on yourself. Don't be that person that supports celebrities when they die. Because nobody was really hearing about this man. Not everybody supporting and showing love when he died. Everybody was focused on Young Boy. Everybody was focused on New York rappers. Everybody was focusing on everything but they damn selves. This is why they always get affected. But remember, death is a beautiful thing. Rest in peace, Jaden Young.
So you still don't believe that giants existed? Okay. Let me ask you a question. Who do these books belong to? So there was this castle in Prague and in the 1940s it was renovated. And deep down in the lower basement on the ground, guess what they found? A giant library. Oh my days. Nobody even knew it was there. Now why would somebody create a library of giant books and bury it underground? These are not regular sized books. I'm talking about books so big you can sit on them. Oh my diddy. So let me ask you again. If giants didn't exist, why make the books so big? Rahabat, Tamaranians, Peace, Ethereans. So listen, TikTok's been on a dick. They've been taking down videos, putting them back up, then threatening to delete our account permanently. So listen, I need y'all to follow our backup so we can stay connected. Cause, Cause you know, they want to delete this truth, but they want to keep up all this booty shaking and shit like that. You feel me? They don't want the truth to be out, but we gonna keep spreading this truth and we gonna make sure nothing's gonna stop this. So make sure you follow our backup. So if anything happens, we are still connected. Y'all ever heard of the serial killer named Ed Gein? Nah. nah. So Ed Gein was probably one of the most dangerously deranged psychotic serial killers ever, bro. Mm. So like, they called him a necrophiliac serial killer. Mm -hmm. So basically what that is, he used to go to the graveyard at mm. night and dig up bodies and then gratify himself sexually with the bodies mm. and then start cutting the bodies up and making things from them like lamps. Covers, beds, yes. sheets. Mm -hmm. Like it was what? so bad, bro. Like, like he would like cut up the bodies, bro. It's, it's he would like make chairs and all oh that. God. And one, it was this one time where the cops were sitting outside his house, and they ended up coming into his house or something like that. And then they seen him like eating like oh. stuff out of outside of a human skull, bro. Like he was like eating food, like food that he made outside of a human yeah, skull, man. bro. Wow, it was so bad, bro. He was probably one of the most craziest egg serial game? killers. Yeah, egg yeah. game. Bro. We have souls and we have spirits. Spirit is electricity. The soul is magnetism. So having a soul gives us the ability to attract things to us, things we think, things we say, because we are literally magnets. So everything we say and think is magnetized. You get it? So this is why you attract things to you with what you say out your mouth because you have a soul which is a magnet. We know what a soul is. We heard it, but let's talk to what's the science of a soul. The soul is magnetism. It's your magnet. It's what pulls people to you. They, they, they are pulled to your soul. When motherfuckers die, you don't miss their body because the body is still in the casket. You be missing their soul, their life force to them, their personality, right? The soul, nigga, that's the soul, nigga. That leaves the body saved. You are the soul and the spirit. That's what makes you God. That's what God is. The soul, the spirit, the life force. And your soul and spirit and life force, if you have carbon in your skin, is connected to everybody else with a soul and spirit that has carbon in their skin and not just every being on the planet, but the animals, the plants, and the insects as well. Tr facts. We are connected to every living thing. That's how that's that's how powerful you is. It's it's kind of it's kind of freaky when you first think about it. You're like, damn, what? It fucked you up. It did me like that. You'd be like, what? But then when you when you when you when you meditate on it and you get more tapped in with yourself, it's easy to see how you connected to the sun. Mr. Carmichael, if you had the chance to stand up in front of the white community and say anything you desired, say to them, understand me, white man. What would you say? I would say, understand yourself, white man that the white man's burden should not have been preached in Africa, but it should have been preached among you. That you need now to civilize yourself. You have moved to destroy and disrupt. You have taken people away. 
you have broken down their systems and you have called all that civilization and we who have suffered at this are now saying to you you are the killers of the dreams you are the savages yes it is you who have always been uncivilized civilize yourself Yes, but not funny, haha. -ha. Funny, weird.